So here we have the Ford Fiesta ZTEC on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we've got plenty of space in there along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. Uh, the seats are in great condition as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. The fuel gauge appears in the middle at the bottom, and then above that, you can see the total miles on this car, which are 27,678. You can change the information displayed there by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information, all the way back round to the beginning again. Out on the steering wheel, we have the stereo controls. That button in the middle is the voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you paired up your phone and that is done using the stereo and screen over in the center just here. Uh, so music wise, you can see that this car has got FM radio. We also have, uh, if we move on to the next frequency, DAB and AM as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music via the radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can use the CD player that's just at the top of that unit there. Uh, we can also plug in an auxiliary and USB device, both of which are accessible uh, using buttons on the stereo. And as you can see being displayed right now, we can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you pair your phone, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you'll be able to listen to your music as well. As I say, all of that is done using the buttons on here. Below that, we've got the air conditioning. So you can select the temperature using this dial, fan speed on this one, direction that you'd like the air to be distributed in using that dial. And then when you're happy with those settings, hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. And it'd be the same button again to turn that off. This button will recirculate the air that's currently in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you set on this dial here, of course. We then have a five speed manual gearbox and beneath that a 12 volt charging socket, the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.